everyone, my name is Emily Wade. I'm here with Ashley Russell, and tonight we're gonna explain uh, Brownian motion and ge geometric Brownian motion. So Brownian motion. Well, we were given a problem, and it was basically just to simulate Brownian motion. And um, this originally refers to the way particles randomly bounce off of each other in things like fluids or in gases. And um, Brownian motion has independent, identical, distributed increments, which is kind of an important part of this. So here's a code that we came up with. Um, and as you can see, we've kind of commented it out nicely so you can see kind of what's going on. So here we go. Um, T, which is time in seconds, we got that set to 100. We have our number of impulses and uh, or the changes in track. And you can see that as 100 times T. And then we've got um, h, which is the square root of the time over n. And then our number of particles, which we're going to do is 3. And so right here, we're initializing the origin of the particles by creating a matrix of zeros. And then we begin our loop that stores the positions of the particles. And um, right here, as you can see, this is where we're randomly generating our values. And we're doing it through a standard normal uh, variant. And then it goes to the loop um, NP. So we've got this is three times, and then N is set to, um, of course, the number of impulses. So it does it that many times. And then we come down here to plot it, and then we've added some nice color to it so you can see the differences. And um, so let's take a look at what it gave us. So here's our simulated Brownian motion. Um, here are our different, the colors represent our three different particles. And as you can see, they all kind of randomly did different things. Um, the green and the red kind of have a similar trend to them at the end, but here is our generated Brownian motion. Moving into the geometric Brownian motion, so this problem was pretty similar to the last one I just explained, and um, however, its Brownian motion has independent identical distributed increments, while the geometric Brownian motion has independent identically distributed ratios between successive factors. So, um, a lot of times this can be used to model the start market and it contains the, um, these additional variables so as mu which is growth rate and sigma which is uh velocity excuse me so here's our code for that so we've got um mu being 0.1 sigma being 0.3 our initial price of the stock that we're simulating is going to be 100 and our time period is going to be 200 and then we're going to do three particles again and so um, coming down here, we're setting up our matrix again, and um, this is creating our three by three set of colors for our color map when we plot it. And we have another for loop for the three particles going through. And then here's our randomly generated uh, standard normal random variates. And then we put that into S, which takes into account for the growth rate and the, um, the stock initial stock price and things of that nature this equation takes into account that and it stores it in this matrix and then for those three particles we go ahead and we um we plot again so let's take a look at that and as you can see uh here are three and so if you purchase blue and went with that method and that's how the stocks played out you did really well as you can see it's like way up here if you um went the green track not such good luck looks like you lost a little bit but um, this is our geometric Brownian motion simulation, and we hope that you enjoy watching this video, and thank you.